The show this morning in the buzz, there's just one day left in campaign 2010. And while you were out trick-or-treating or enjoying the fall weather this weekend, you probably couldn't help but notice all the campaign signs that were yeah. decorating people's lawns, right? The houses have them, the businesses have got them. But this all got us wondering, do these campaign signs that you see everywhere actually influence the way you vote. And the question is, would it sway your, your vote either way if you saw it like in a friend's yard, maybe if you're on the fence or, or something <laughs> like that? What do you, this guy, what do you guys think? No, not at all. I, the only signs I honestly really notice is if I personally know a candidate. I know a couple mm -hmm. friends that were running for school committee or, or, or something like that, yeah. town council, and I'll drive by and, oh, that's uh, so and so, you know. Yeah. But I don't know, in general, I mean, even the, the giant signs, you notice them, but Two minutes down the road, I forget whose name was even on. Yeah. Exactly. I, just, I just, I just see them as, oh, that's a, a sign, mm -hmm. you know. I was at a Halloween party in Bristol yesterday afternoon with the kids, and they were at the party, and I was out just in the front yard, you know, looking at the football scores mm -hmm. while they're in the bouncy castle. And all of a sudden, I hear, rrr, 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 and there's four yeah. cars lined up with like truck, pickup truck type things with signs plastered all over the trucks, yeah. honking their horns like, vote for this person. I mean, there's so many people on the sign on, on yeah. the car. I was like, okay, what's that person running for? Right, right, right. What's right. that person running for? Uh, I don't know what was on the first car. You know, and then it's like, do you drive by them? It's the same thing. Right. It's, there's too many of them. I don't know half the people what they're running for. You know, what town they're being I think, running in. Yeah, I think you make a good point because especially for the bigger races, like the governor's race and that you know, sort of those, thing, we yeah. know who the candidates are, but there are lesser ones that maybe we're not you know, as focused on in the media because they're very town specific that you might not notice. And if you see their names, it's a lot like... Um, you know, when, when, when your son or daughter maybe all of a sudden knows the songs, knows the lyrics to a song that you thought, I, I don't even remember you hearing that song. How did, how did that come about? Right. It's more of a sub, subliminal yeah. messaging as in, you know, the, most, the name recognition is going to be telegraphed to you, you know, via these signs. And then when you get into the polls to vote, it's like, okay, what? I remember that name. I don't know why I remember that name, but I remember seeing that one. I don't remember seeing that one. Maybe that's so what they're going the first, for then. That's it's exactly what they're going for, yeah. Like you said, I mean... Welcome to the bus. Yeah, we know. We know <laughs> you know, the... Yeah, uh, that's what they're going for, Ben. Yeah. You know, they... No, I mean, it only says their the name. Fun guy over you know, here. it doesn't say what they're, what they're for. It doesn't say what they're... Well, yeah. I know Caprio sign says for jobs and that sort but of for, thing. But for know. people like Caprio and candidates like that that are running for governor, they can afford the commercials and stuff yes. like that. So that's how they're getting yes. it. Yes. I, I think it's the people running for town council and, and the school committee, the, the little ones that you're... Right. That, that are using all this signage because you know, it's an for, affordable way to advertise. And for a long time, John Robitaille was saying that his big issue was how do people know my name as well as they've heard Link Chaf Chafee's for a long time. They've heard Frank Caprio's, and, and uh, Frank Caprio certainly has you know high-profile family members as well. So for John Robitaille, the names were useful in getting people to recognize who even was this third guy, uh, and also, of course, Ken Block, who's also in the, in the running. Are those signs environmentally friendly? Well, that's a good question. Yeah. I wonder. <laughs> you know, I would you imagine think about not. It, like, you know, they, yeah. And one, what happens afterwards? That's right. A there's, a, there's a guy in Bristol. I'm not going to mention his name because he lost in the primary. And now he's trying to get in as a write-in candidate. Okay. He's also handed out. I, I don't know if he's done it this year, but I think he has handed out. You know the the bags that you put your leaves in yeah. in the grass with his name all over those bags. Interesting. Because what do you do? Will you load up the bags with all of your garden put them and out, you put it right on the curb so the dude's names are on every single smart. bag that is out smart. on the yeah i mean it's just another way of yeah. of get like you said not and then you don't have to spend the money on the bags yourself well that's it and not and not only that but not Everybody can afford to advertise on TV or radio True. or in the newspaper. True. So uh, I thought you know, that was me. I, I, I contributed clever. that part. That was oh, okay. To the buzz. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what? I think Mel. I, I think we need Ben Haig leaf bags that we can pass <laughs> out during road to events. Just a space. One, space. I just say one more year. One more I'm year. on it. I'm it's on just, it. It's just trash. Here's Ben. It's <laughs> trash. It's <laughs> not a good comparison we'd like to make. <laughs> I'm here in the New England Tech Center live blogging on FoxProvidence.com. And I have to say, a lot of our comments from our bloggers and Facebook friends this morning are really one sided. They're saying they're really not influenced by the signs. So let's head on over to the live blog and see what some of our friends have to say this morning. Anthony says, Signs are a hit with the neighborhood dogs. They don't influence me at all. And Smokey Wolf says, I am so sick of seeing these signs. I saw six yesterday and they were all nailed to trees. And Donna P says, No, the signs don't affect my vote, but the disrespectful comments comments and bias comments do. And in case you're just joining us this morning, I've posted today's buzz poll question on foxprovidence.com. Today we're asking, do campaign signs littered across the state influence the way you vote? Your choices are yes, they keep candidates top of mind, or B, no, 
know they're annoying and obtrusive. And our friends on Facebook are weighing in this morning. Wendy Spencer says no, and unfortunately, I'm still undecided. I tend to vote for whoever didn't get nasty. And Deborah Stitton says no, I don't know who I'm going to vote for because I know who I'm going to vote for before I enter the booth. And Becky DeStefano says I can't wait till they're all taken down. Well, just another day, Becky, and then they'll all be taken down and things will be back to normal. But don't go anywhere because I'll be back at the end of the show with your web poll results. But